Hello! In this video, we're going to talk more about the online auto-graded simulations found in Century 21 Accounting for the multi-column or general journal 11th editions. In this example multi-column course, you'll find three simulations available at the end of parts 1, 2, and 3 of the book. The first simulation is at the end of part 1 under the part 1 folder under simulation red carpet events. Red carpet events is a simulation where students encounter accounting principles and practical applications as they experience the challenges of operating an event planning service business organized as a proprietorship. At the end of part two, students have access to the authentic thread simulation which is a dynamic merchandising business organized as a corporation. And at the end of part three, students have access to digital diversions, an engaging simulation with the latest retail software, cell phones, video cameras, music, and more in a merchandising business organized as a corporation. All of these simulations have the same interface which was designed to be in an automated accounting software, educational software built by National Geographic Learning to help students practice with automated accounting software and have a chance to practice an entire accounting cycle as a nice capstone to each of the first three parts of the introductory courses. Let's take a look at one of the examples of the red carpet event simulation. You can see that this simulation is separated into five individual assignments or parts. When I open a simulation, it'll give me some brief instructions and I'll click start assignment now. The simulations will open in a new window. Make sure that your browser has the pop-up blocker turned off for the MindTap website so that the window will open easily. The first time that a teacher or student opens the simulation, you will see a Get Started tutorial or a tour of the interface. You can walk through this tour at any time by clicking the Help question mark icon in the top right of the simulation. In the top right of the simulation. This will open a new tab, which can always help you walk through how the simulation works and learn more about the different tasks and portions of the simulation. This simulation does not require Flash or any plugins and can be accessed from any browser on any device. Within the simulation, students will have their instructions on the right hand side. They will not require to have any printed envelope of source documents or instructions. All of the source documents, all of the source documents and instructions are already in the online simulation. Source documents can be found here in this button for source documents. Both the transaction description for each transaction is available as well as an image of the actual source document. Students can expand these. They can download the source documents and print them as needed as well. Students also have access to a calculator clicking the calculator button. And while the simulation will auto save, they can always click the save button to save their work. This allows them to leave the simulation and come back to continue their work if they can't complete it all within a class period. Students will walk through the instructions and use the source documents to complete the simulation. Students can adjust windows to keep multiple ones on screen. You can see in this simulation I might be working with an accounting list, journal, reports, um, or ledger reports, financial statements, and financial statement analysis. Students will work through their tasks under the task bar here. Maintaining accounts, maintaining vendors, customers, working in the general journal, and generating closing entries. 
because I have a lot of windows opened up, all of these windows will exist on this carousel down here, and I can quickly find the window I want by selecting the window from the bottom of the screen. Students also have access to a company dashboard, which gives them a visual of how their transactions are impacting the balance sheet, income statement, and even expense distribution of the company. Students can generate detailed reports of those graphs from the dashboard view as well. I can always get back to where I'm working by clicking on the general ledger icon. And of course, I can even go into the company and expand this company information and adjust anything about my company setup or the graphs that I see on my dashboard, as well as banking information and tasks and general ledger tasks. As I move through other simulations, I may also start working in purchases, sales, inventory, payroll, and assets. All of my reports would be available when I click them there. As students are working in their general journal, they'll have some help that will show them how to add new entries the first time that they do it. If I want to insert my first transaction, I can select the account, clicking the drop down button, or start to type it, and it will appear. I can enter my transactions and enter a new debit or credit. And I can auto post using the post button, which will account my gen which will update my general ledgers. Students can check their work as they move on. I'm going to save and check my work to see my current score. Once students submit an assignment, their grades will automatically throw, flow to the MindTap gradebook. But students and teachers also get to see this clickstream report, which will show them all of the student data and what was correct or incorrect for each of the accounts or fields within the ledger. And this clickstream report will show all of the user actions, everything that was selected, typed in, so that teachers can easily see every single thing that students did. You can filter to see um, work that might have only been done within the general ledger. You can select individual accounts and apply that to just see those entries. Now, because this is a simulation, student work is always being recorded, and teachers and students can click the playback button from this clickstream report to watch a recording of everything the student did within that simulation part. Teachers can easily pause or increase the speed at which to watch this replay at any time. This is a great tool that teachers can use to go back and have students see exactly what they did wrong and what they should have done to complete the simulation correctly. Now to be able to view my students' work in a simulation, I would first want to double check that I had created an end or due date for that assignment. To do that, I would go to the assignment in my learning path and I can see that I did apply a due date, that it was due on June 20th. If I didn't have a due date, I would want to select the edit toggle to on and add a date that I want all of the student submissions to flow to the gradebook. So I could click edit and then select due dates here by clicking on the calendar even down to the minute. Once I have a due date, this will appear in my gradebook. I will go into the progress app and on the first tab that opens under the home tab it should appear under upcoming assignments. I could also always find this assignment in the gradebook itself but I'm going to use it here this nice quick link it's an upcoming assignment I'll click on the red carpets event assignment and I'll see all the students who submitted as well as their score and the number of attempts. Let's check out this student score. When I click on the student I can either extend the due date for that individual student, add a comment so that the student can get some communication from me, 
or I can edit their score or remove their score altogether. They have one attempt, so for me to view that, I'll click the View button. Over on the left-hand side, a summary report will appear with the date that the student completed the assignment, the possible score, and the score they received. To view everything that they actually did, I'll click the Detailed Review. This will open a new window, and it will open that Detailed Review report as well as the Clickstream report for that student. And of course, by clicking the Playback button, I can watch a recording of everything that my student did within this simulation. I can always pause that recording using the play buttons down here or increase the speed. And I can show this to my student and actually share with them where they made mistakes. Thank you for taking time to learn about the simulations for the multi-column and general journal 11th editions of Century 21 Accounting. If you have any questions, you can always find us at ngl.cengage.com backslash CTE.